A resilient system is an elastic system that can take disruption, it can deform, if you will, without being damaged, without being destroyed, and then it can return back to its original configuration as fast as possible and as closely as possible to where it started from. A megacity is a city that has a population of more than 10 million people. There are two types of stresses that cities are exposed to. Stresses that are on the slower pace that have to do with the fabric of the city. For example, aging infrastructure to unemployment to economic stress. And then there are abrupt stresses such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tornadoes, hurricanes. Those two types of stresses interact to determine the amount of damage that a natural hazard can cause to a city. Healthy megacities depend on a healthy performance of a variety of systems that range from infrastructure systems, pipelines, roads, bridges, tunnels, telecommunications, the internet, electricity, sewage, and so on and so forth. Those systems are not independently operating. Sometimes the disaster on one of those systems can cascade to others. And then natural hazards that would cause damage to one of the systems, for example, to a water pipeline, might end up having secondary effects to adjacent systems such as a fire and there's no water to put it off that were not triggered by the earthquake, but were triggered by the damage that was induced by the earthquake to the water system. We use supercomputers that can simulate. Like SimCity, we can create scenarios with visualization that we can use for our understanding for the public's education. I collect data in the form of pictures, in the form of deformation measurements, rotations of buildings that I can then use as validation exercises for my models. So it is a natural laboratory of an event that's so common complex that I can't reproduce in the lab. Caltech is approaching from the fundamental physics viewpoint. By combining the physics of hazards with the physics of the performance of infrastructure systems, we are able to re-engineer the engineering of the past and develop new techniques, new scenarios, new design approaches that are tailored to the increasing growth of urban centers. And based on that, we can understand how we can best design our infrastructure systems to resist future large earthquakes, and we can educate the public. Policymakers are also seeing the challenges that we're seeing, and they're open to the idea of going back to fundamental principles. So we have the opportunity to do what Caltech does best, which is science, as well as see that propagate all the way to the local government and implementations.